Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through testing principles guys. Okay. So basically in our last lecture, we have gone through coding principles if you remember. Yes. So in this lecture, let us go through some testing principles. So basically you might be having a question like why we are doing testing. So basically if you are following my lectures from the first unit or first topic, you will be having a 100% clear idea about that I am sure. So basically testing is done. Why is testing done? To check whether the client requirements are fulfilled or not. So just for that thing, we will be doing testing and for coding or you, you will also doing for bug testing and everything guys. Okay. Even in our last lecture, we have discussed about that. Okay. So don't worry. Principle one, the first principle tells that testing must be conducted to validate customers requirements. Yeah. That's what I just told you. Right. So basically we'll be discussing about testing and it's all types in 50 minutes guys. So don't worry. Okay. So the basic aim of testing is to find defects from the development modules. So basically whatever are the defects or the bugs which are not wantedly written but written without any idea in the development modules will be identified with the help of this testing so based on customers input hence testing must be validated validate customer reviews so basically we will need to validate the customer requirements here okay similarly testing should be well planned before starting of the testing work so basically if you recall unit testing test cases when they are written guys they are written before starting coding itself. I, I specifically mentioned this point. So in preparation principles only I mentioned this. Create a set of unit tests. Like be even before starting of the code only we will be doing that. Just for our sake. Like what should be the input and what should be the output to understand ourselves. Right? Yes. Testing plan can be started as soon as the analysis model is complete. So test cases can be, play, can be planned before starting code actually. That's what I have just told you. Right? Yes and sorry for that okay and the third principle states that the Pareto principle guys this is a common principle that is called as Pareto principle which is talks about test cases is up is applicable to software testing so according to Pareto principle 80 percent of all the errors found in testing will be likely be traced by 20 percent of all programming modules so if there are 80 percent of those errors those can be traced directly by 20. So if you solve this 20, these will be solved. Okay. So hence these suspected components must be isolated and tested. So these components, if you test these 20 components and you resolve the issues, automatically this 80 will also be gone guys. Okay. So that is nothing but Pareto principle. Hence, okay. Principle four, testing should start from individual unit and finally go towards testing a complete unit. So we call it as unit testing. A single unit and integrated testing as two or more units you'll be combining them based on their properties common properties you'll be combining them okay similarly the fifth principle it is nothing but accept testing for testing of every combination of path is not possible so basically if there are 10 modules okay let us assume four modules only so let us assume there are four modules if you want to combine each module individually and test it, what will be the situation guys? For one combination, you'll be getting first to, to commit to two combinations. You'll be getting uh, seven. I think so. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry. Yeah. Six only. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. You'll be getting six combinations if you are doing for two. Similarly, if you're doing for three, you'll be getting more combinations. So all combinations uh, testing might not be a best option. Always check the similarities guys. If there are any similar things in between them, like if they are related in terms of data, like if there is a data transfer between them, then it is mandatory to test. If not, you can just avoid them and you must make sure after combining those four modules, you should test at least once. Okay. And if in this situation, if you get any error or any bug, you can indirectly understand that there is some issue or some, some connection which you don't even know that exists. Okay. So as checking each combination is not possible like test cases, like test cases for each and every input is possible. So basically instead of writing or combining the modules, you can just even combine them all, write some test cases which are satisfying all the conditions. Guys, we'll be discussing about this also in the fifth unit when we are discussing about testing guys. Okay. Okay. So I hope everyone got some basic idea about testing and its principles. So in the next lecture, we will be going through deployment principles okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching